What is up everybody? It's Joe from JLW Games coming at you with another cool video back in Planet Coaster in the one the only Silver Dollar City recreation. So today I'm going to be showing you the progress we've made since last time and uh, everything that we have uh, kind of done just as an overview in case you haven't been following the series lately. So um, of course we have the entrance area here untouched. We haven't done anything with this since the last episode. So um, nothing is brand new in that section yet. Um, we haven't done anything really up here. Uh, and then going back over here into the, uh, wait for this autosave to progress, but going over here into Valley Road, I don't believe we've done anything over here as well. Um, we've mainly been focusing on the back area of the park and actually getting close to doing, um, some other sections as well. So, but Flooded Mine um, is still, I believe, like that, and uh, Thunderation and Time Traveler have been untouched, um, basically, as well, except for Time Traveler, actually, just kidding, uh, I lied, uh, we actually have started on custom supports for Time Traveler, we have the drop section here, which I did take some reference photos on uh, how the... Uh, the supports do work. We are using um, the mock connectors as well. Um, that is in a, uh, a toolkit item uh, on the workshop, which is a really useful item for, I might say, as well. So uh, we all we've done on custom supports though is on the drop, and we have started on the dive loop. So there's not much we have done except we've done a couple, and we haven't even fully. Uh, finished these as well. So I'm going to be slowly but surely um, progressing on these um, custom supports through the entire ride. Um, so just kind of slowly, I, I touch up on them about each episode almost uh, lately, and I've just kind of been doing a little bit at a time to uh, get it kind of looking a little bit better and um, kind of going off with some reference photos here and there and just different things in general. So that those custom supports will start coming out around along pretty soon uh, so I'm excited for what those will bring and uh, we'll see how that goes so um, since time travelers terrain is for the most part complete there's a couple spots I need to touch up but I'm doing that as I go along with the supporting so um, I'm not putting down footers on every spot yet so as you can tell like on the dive loop I haven't put any footers on these and that's because I want to wait until I know the terrain is complete um, so we can get these in place but um, I can wait on the terrain later so I can still do custom supports but I'm just kind of waiting on the terrain for uh, other things like the footers and stuff so we'll get further along into that as we uh, as soon as we can so Going back down over here into the Grand Exposition area, I don't believe anything's been changed much over here, maybe a little bit uh, possibly, but um, the Grand Exposition is looking fantastic as always, and um, I need to get a move on on this section as well a little bit. Um, I just wanted to get started on it at one point, so um, it's not the area I'm looking most forward to, so um, I've kind of stalled out a little bit on it, and I need to get a couple of reference photos in some sections, so um, that's kind of like we're about where we're at um, in the Grand Exposition. It'll start coming together soon, though. Uh, don't worry, we'll, we'll probably do start doing some more work on it soon. Uh, and uh, things like that. So, of course, I want to get kind of the Magnificent Wave Carousel starting to get connected a little bit. Its exit should be easy, and then the uh, kind of the, the uh, thing that I'm kind of a little bit iffy on is more or less the um, entrances and exits. Uh, so, like, the queue lines, basically, is where I'm kind of, like, I'm kind of unsure on some stuff, and that's kind of why I've stalled out a little bit, because I need to go and uh, get some photos, reference photos for those uh, as well before I kind of get too far into it so but anyways I think we did, we may have worked a little bit on some of these planters here I'm not sure if these were there in the last episode but we did do some planters up here they look actually pretty nice and I like the way they look um, and we did some path covers we might touch up a little bit on those later on but for right now they are looking pretty good as of right now so heading down over here into <coughs> the uh, crossing here we did not really work on anything going into Fireman's Landing or the riverfront area. It is still kind of very raw and kind of empty as of right now. We mainly worked on 
the back sections of the park right here, as you can tell. So we have um, the tree houses uh, that used to be here, which I think I had already done for last episode. Uh, we have, uh, uh, of course, the uh, uh, Crossroads Pizza, which is going to be a nice restaurant. And it's actually, they do have some really good pizza in real life, too. So really excited on that one. And then I've been trying to work a lot in the pathing in here and trying to work it out a little bit. Um, really trying to get it to look good. And we're starting to get some details here and there, as you can see. Um, and it's starting to come together, which is uh, definitely a good thing uh, and everything like that. So we also got this bathroom we started to detail more, um, which is really nice. I like the looks of it. We also did some more details going back into Wilson's Farm's giant barn swing area. So um, we have a lot to do over here. I did do a lot of repathing and restructuring over here. And we also did a start on some Hilo silos. Um, we'll see how those turn out, but uh, we got those started, which will be a nice, will be nice to have those done. And of course, Outlaw Run. Um, not much going on on Outlaw Run except for some uh, custom, uh, custom catwalks going on over here that will be going down the drop. Um, that's basically what I have been working on. And uh, for the most part, we have retracted all, and uh, I might do a little bit of tweaks here and there. Like, I still want to try and uh, maybe work on the wave turn a little bit here. Uh, just a little bit small, it seems like, a little bit short than what the real life one is. So um, we might work on that. And I do want to do some custom supports on some structures like the wave turn because the um, uh, structure should be on this back side, not in front of it. So. Um, that is something we're going to be working on as well. And, of course, over here in the back section at the bottom of Hill Street, um, we do have the Silver Dollar Saloon that we started on. We did start doing some slight details on it, not many. And we have the Fry Bread Company, which is, uh, they sell some fry bread. So I even got a picture of the sandwiches they sell, and they're so good, by the way. And, um... Uh, this isn't completely exact, but I'm pretty happy of the way it turned out and the building looks pretty good So it's a nice little stall. There's not much to it. It's just it's kind of a small little uh, building here uh, Which is nice and the big progress that we've been working on the most of is of course Fire in the hole so at this point in time. I have pretty much have put together all of the scenes and basically all we have left to do now is is close up a lot of the areas and um, basically just do some final touches. So that's basically what we have left on Fire in the Hole. I still need to work a lot more in the station section and the area. Um, there's not much here just yet. So um, we do have real sound effects that are playing on the track and everything, which are really neat. We even have uh, the little train right here, right before you go in. And I did speed up speed some of the drops up so they would go a little faster down the drops and of course we have the classic saying at the end sploosh and the splashdown um, but uh, we got the time machine start to go on this and everything and I couldn't be more excited for fire in the hole this is one of the projects I've been looking most forward to uh, in this recreation and it actually has not been the hardest uh, thing to do so far in the recreation as of right now. I figured it'd be one of the hardest as, you know, dark rides are pretty challenging, but I feel like I took a really good approach on it and it's actually turned out very nice and it's actually been pretty well easy to kind of throw together. Um, it wasn't too tough. Um, we, we ended up doing, we did use the Malice Unchained, so like the RMC, uh, track uh, basically and we used a lot of block sections to propel it upwards so it angles upwards on all the straight sections uh, that we did so I angled it upwards uh, that way it would be able to do all the drops and everything we used a uh, layout the w way I got the layouts it was from the blazing fury uh, I think it's like a almost part of the control panel and there's a picture of it on there and it's got that and there's a couple other references I used to get the layout the way it needed to be so there could be some inaccuracies 
but uh, for the most part, it's pretty close to accurate, I think. So I think I'm, I'm pretty pretty happy with the way it turned out. And we just got a lot of cool things going on in here. And uh, we're going to go ahead and go to nighttime so you can kind of get the full effect of what it will be um, on the ride. So we got a lot of different sound effects that are actually part of the ride uh, that I was able to get in here, which is cool. And we have the barrel laughs guy. And then it's going to come through here. You got a couple scenes, and then we have the scene that connects down to the first floor scene um, on this one. So, and then I made it to where it is going to be pitch black in this section, so it's not really going to have anything in here because it's going to be pitch black um, with the time machine uh, settings that I'm putting in on it. So, I don't think there's really need to do that. And then, of course, we have the um, the the iconic bridge scene which leads you into the first drop of the ride uh, so that is one uh, thing that is going to be really cool and I'm pretty proud of actually how it turned out as we wait for this autosave to finish up and you know kind of mess up everything because that's what it likes to do but it turned out pretty cool I got a lot of the sound effects kind of complete there's not uh, I don't I might add a couple ambient sound effects here and there um, on some spots, but for the most part, it's pretty good. And we're gonna do some final touch-ups after, um, after we get kind of everything together. So there's a couple spots here and there I still need to kind of touch up um, with walls and uh, stuff, and then we'll do some final touch-ups on some of the scenes, maybe even do uh, some final touch-ups on some of the, uh, how everything's synced here. And then we have the hanging scene right before we go into the train spot which um, I had to put in some cool triggers and everything for this spot right here because we had to obviously get a light turned on and everything like that as if you're about to run into a steam train or something as you can see the light turned on when you came around and I have to say, this looks actually pretty good for what it is in, like, the real thing. And then, of course, we have the end of the ride, complete with a strobe light in the water. Just like the actual ride, so pretty cool. And um, we haven't detailed much outside, but uh, we're going to, and it's going to be really really awesome so if we zoom out all the way here you can see kind of the full progress that we've had uh, for the park and I can't tell you how excited I am as you can see over here we've obviously got the um, uh, right side of the park more detailed than anything else but lately we've been working on this back area uh, as you can see it's starting to get more and more detailed um, just a little bit and uh, that's basically what we're doing right now um, and then, of course, we the least uh, detailed right now is the riverfront area and fireman's landing sections. Um, that's basically just a path with a lot of blocks of uh, for that are going to become buildings. But uh, things are going to start coming together, uh, and they're coming together very nicely already. And I'm very excited, and I hope you guys are excited as just as much as I am for this entire recreation. And I have big plans for this recreation for when it all comes together. So when we do come back, I'm hoping that fire in the hole will be pretty much complete, uh, if not fully complete. And uh, we'll have a lot more stuff detailed back in this section. So uh, that's what we're gonna be working on a lot is this back section. And then um, some, some of the transitions going into Midtown so they can all be set together. And then I really wanna start getting into uh, connecting some pads that will get to uh, so we can get towards um, wildfire american plunge and of course powder keg so we still have a lot to build like one main ride that the main ride that we haven't built yet still is american plunge and that's going to be the highlight coming soon so um, that's going to be the big ride that we're going to be going into soon and i'll probably be re of course we re retracking wildfire a little bit more as well so lots to do and i hope you guys have been enjoying this series as much as i have there's just so much 
that goes into it, and um, there's still so much more. My goal, of course, is to have this done within a year, so um, I want to try and have this done by December 2020 is kind of like my goal. Um, if I can get it done sooner, that's even, you know, a bigger, uh, it would be even bigger, you know? Uh, but if I can't get it done within my time goal, you know, that's all right. We're still going to try and get it done, even if it takes longer. So, uh, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of the Silver Dollar City Recreation. Let me know in the comments what you're so what you're excited for me to build next in this, and uh, if you're excited in general for this to come together. Uh, I can't wait to get it on the workshop to you guys, and where you guys can check out the full park and uh, just have fun with it. So anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure you comment, like, and subscribe for more amazing content like this. And I'll see you guys in the very next uh, live stream or video. Thanks, and have a great day, and even cooler tomorrow. And goodbye.